Queens, welcome to Cash or Trash. This time it's a series where we put Japanese craft kits versus North American craft kits. And we take them and we watch them fight. So pretty much as I mentioned, this series is about finding which craft kit is the best in which country. Today's contestants are DIY slime craft kits. The first one is from Japan by Takara Tommy or Tomi. And according to the box, it looks like we can do about 10 different slimes, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. I really love the packaging, so extra bonus points for the for, for the box. I cannot talk. Let's not start this today. English, cooperate with me. Come on, over here. And we are going to English today. I got it. Now we can English. The next kit is So Slime DIY, which is a very popular craft kit here in North America. And it says that we can make our own scented slime and we can make six of them. And so now the question is, which one is worth your cash and which one goes? In the trash. In previous videos of this series, we did a Gently Soap kit. And I will tell you right away, there was an obvious and clear winner. We also compared a Japanese candle kit versus a North American candle kit. And I have to say, also a clear winner. And most recently, we did a crystal growing kit. I will leave the links for all of these in the description box below. They're pretty interesting to watch. Our first victim, the Japanese Takara Tomi Super Adorable Slime Kit. Now, I don't know about you, Grains, but I really never understood the whole hype of slime. For those of you who are into it, let me know in the comment section below. For me, it's just squishy things. I'm not sure what the obsession is, so enlighten me and educate me in the comment section below. And for those of you who are not into slime, let me know what is the weirdest material that you like the texture of. I guess for me, I really enjoy the Play-Doh type texture. It's not weird, but I like it. Oh, and kinetic sand. I really enjoy kinetic sand. So even if we don't read Japanese, we see that it says pink powder and water, and it seems like that is the easiest way to make this slime. I have no idea if a quality of slime can be good from powder. I don't know. I am not the slime expert, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna gauge it by how well it works. And when we turn the box around, look at, oh, I'm tapping it. Let's just tap it. We can see that not only are we getting slime, but we're also getting a carrying case and it seems like a cup and a measuring stirry spoon. I paid $30 for this kit. Yes, you heard. I spent $30 for a slime kit. For those of you who want to say that the Japanese craft kit is expensive, don't be fooled by this one. I spent $40. This one is more expensive than the Japanese craft kit, so don't be fooled. Price is a big factor. That's important. Okay, um, this is freaky. <laughs> if we look in the background, we can see that the other slime kit is looking for a fight. You think you're gonna beat me this time? Japanese and crab kit, I'm gonna beat you this time. I'm gonna win, and we're gonna get a point from North American kits. Yeah, for some reason, I kind of doubt that the other North American kit. I'm gonna take you and put you aside for now. There. Don't move. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you. If you don't want it, make sure you click on all notifications while you're there. Actually, you'll end up liking it, so get used to it. All right, time to see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. Five colors of slime powder, two types of beads, one in a translucent and the other one in colorful, a stirring spoon and cup, Two kinds of glitter, we have trashy pink and iridescent. In case you're wondering why I call this trashy pink, there's just these colors. To me, they feel like I would probably never wear them, whether it be on shoes, jewelry, or anything else. It just, it's not my aesthetic. Because my aesthetic, as many of you may know, is absolute darkness. <laughs> er, me. Cute. That is the cutest. Super, super cute. <laughs> so cute. Don't judge me. We also get a, a storage kind of box. This is a really good quality box. It doesn't feel like the flimsy plastic that you would get from the dollar store. It's quite solid and it has a cute little heart compartment. Tiny Ziploc bags. My guess is to carry your slime around. It also has this tiny hole that you can kind of attach your slime with a little chain. I guess if you want to take it in your backpack because slime needs 
to go. In the trash! I mean, to go. And last but not least, we have the instructions. Of course, Japan, only Japan, is going to wrap their instructions to make sure that it is safe in a plastic bag. Luckily in Japan, over 80% of their items are actually recycled. So, instructional sheet that is in Japanese. Don't worry, I will figure it out. Let's do it. All right, so according to Google Translate, the instructions seem pretty straightforward. All we have to do is add water until this part here, which seems like quite a bit of water. Add the entire packet of slime, well, the powder thing, and stir it for two minutes. Then we gotta set it aside for 20 minutes. All right, so by the way, this cup is not tiny. This cup is huge. Just so that we're clear, this is a normal mug and this is the other mug. But there's all Okay, now let's get you in here. It's gonna be a mess, isn't it? There we go. With very minimal spillage. Mmm, water. So as you can see, it's right under that little bump that they told us to fill it to. I'm really curious if this actually smells like anything because the North American one we know is scented, whereas this one smells like nothing. All right, let's go. That's a lot of powder, but let's keep going. All right, time to stir. It looks like matcha. Okay, now the timer is on for two minutes. So here it is after one minute of stirring. It's definitely getting a little thicker. One more minute to go. And here it is after two minutes. It's starting to have a pudding consistency. Now I suddenly want pudding. All right, now to cap it and put it aside for 20 minutes. But before doing so, look how thick it's getting. And they said it's okay if there's clumps, not to worry about it. So here we are 20 minutes later. My biggest worry is that it's going to feel kind of like the poopsy slime slime, which is just kind of wet and gross and not quite slime-esque. I'm pretty much gauging myself on the Wenji type slimes that I've tried in those packages and one of the better Karina Garcia kits. So hopes are high. And it already looks, so first of all, it's not moving. Pretty solid in there, that's good news. But it does look like that weird texture where it's almost like jello slimed, if that's a good way to, to say it. And, oh, okay. That is very pleasant. So it does have a little bit of that weird wet kind of texture, but it's a lot more elastic, a lot less gross than I expected. And also it's a lot more slime than I thought it would be. So yeah, so far so good. But I highly doubt this is going to make that nice sound that you grains like. Let's hear that popping sound that slime makes. So let's see if this one makes it. Nope. Definitely not. Nope. So again, it does have this very light jello-esque, I was gonna say flavor, but it doesn't smell like anything. Nay. So in terms of slime feel, I would say this is probably a seven. And in terms of fail safe, 100% fail safe. Here's the thing, here's our container, and for sure this is not going to fit. So you're pretty much looking at getting, it's, it's too big. That's what she so your slime is definitely going to fill out more than one of these slots. And let's add some beads just for fun. And how's that looking? There we go. So they don't stay in for very long, but it does have a nice feel to it. So yeah, pretty cool. So we're just going to put it away. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> There you go. Our next victim, I mean kit, is the North American craft kit, So Slime DIY. The slime, So Slime DIY. Sli Why can't I talk? It does say So Slime DIY. Okay? Okay. And at $40, it is by far one of the most expensive slime kits I've ever bought. Or is it? Can't keep track anymore. What has me excited is that this one seems to be an experience process. So there are steps, as you can see in the little boxes, where it says one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have to follow a process in order to enjoy it. And the fact that it's going to be scented, I'm very excited, very, very. Not just this much, but 
this much. You can't even see it. But you know what happens when I get very excited about craft kits? They like to break my heart because they make my expectations so big, but yet they deliver so little. And they just break my heart. And then when we turn the craft kit to the back, in the back, we turn the kit around. We can see that there are collectibles, apparently, that you can get from this kit. I've never seen any of the other ones. These are the only ones I've ever seen at the actual stores and even online. So I'm not sure where the other ones are. Probably in the trash. So I have no idea where they would go. I also find it really funny that they have the little companion characters. I knew I was supposed to do Englishing, but apparently it doesn't work. So just get over. I love the fact that they have the two characters in the back of the box in which one of them is saying Don't eat me! I gonna eat you! You look delicious and scrumptious! Technically though, I can only drink you, but I can't eat you. But I guess, I guess I'll do that anyways too. No! Technically though, if they have the right don't eat me, if someone is old enough to be able to read don't eat me, they technically won't eat it anyways. So I don't know who it's for, right? That's my logic and I'm sticking to it. As much as I would love to use this to open it, I can't because we need to follow the steps, right? No, I need to open it. By the way, it does show that the stretchiness level is supposed to be quite good. And that's, that's quite a bit of slime. All right, let's see what we get inside. Unfortunately, the front of the box was quite misleading because there doesn't seem to really be an experience order kind of like an advent calendar. You just have to follow the instructions. So that was disappointing. <laughs> they like to break my heart because they make my expectations so big, but yet they deliver so little. And they just break my heart. Here's what we get inside. Two really cute containers to mix the slime. These are really, really tiny though, really tiny. So now suddenly I'm really worried about the slime we're getting. And as you can see, they are containers where you mix it in. This is really tiny. It's gonna be very little slime, isn't it? We also get the pack where we have our six different scented slimes. Oh no. What is this? What is this? What is this? Holy car, that is tiny. Oh no. Just so that we're clear, here's six of the slimes and the Japanese one we got five of them but each one was this much powder you want to see a comparison in the size you said sure let me go get a scale <coughs> oh salt yes come out and dance my little saltiness all right so here's the North American packet and it's two grams two grams now get out of here and the Japanese one Eight grams. We're getting four times as much slime per packet for cheaper. But Jackie, maybe the other one is better quality and it smells so good. Stop, nothing justifies this, this thing. So the only redeeming factor technically should be the scent. So let's go ahead and sniff green. And that's not bad. It smells like a lime soda, pink. That's more sour. Probably a raspberry? I'm going to assume purple is grape. <laughs> yep, definitely grape. Yellow. Oh, that's weird. <coughs> it doesn't smell bad, it's just me. It has like this cake batter cream soda, like a cake battery kind of smell. This is very pleasant. I'm guessing brown is going to be root beer. It smells like dog butt. Nope. <coughs> Maybe a little coffee? Maybe? But closer to the dog butt. And lastly, we have the light pink. It smells like strawberry, which is very nice. We also get two different kinds of beads and absolutely colorful and pretty cane slices. So these are inserts for our slime. Some kind of mystery thing? What was it supposed to be? According to the box, it should be a slime charm and we do get two of them. I have no idea what a slime charm is, so I guess we'll find out. So I'm hoping it's still within the theme of fruity or soda. And the answer is nope. It's a cake. It's a plastic cake. Okay. The next slime charm is 
and a hollow little bag. And what do we get? Candy, cake and candy. Sure, okay. Not fruity, not soda-y. So I guess these are absolutely extremely random. So I'm gonna move you over, over there. Bruh. Companies, if you're going to do a theme, at least do like poopsy slime and go to the extreme. I mean, they had poopy puns, they had swirly poopy uh, kind of uh, like toys, and they had some gross things, but at least it was within the theme. Please, if I'm gonna pay $40, take me to the next level of that theme. Look at me. All right, so we're going to start by putting the powdered slime inside the cup, adding water until the fill line, which is right under the first round. Now we're going to put the cap on and shake it for 30 seconds at least, according to the instructions. Oh, and just to be clear, it does say, make sure you put the water after the powder, not before. And now the instructions tell us to remove the lid and leave it for five minutes. Here you go, buddy. I'll see you in five minutes. Five minutes later. And so here we are five minutes later, and how is this? Oh no. Just as a reminder, here's how the Japanese one was. It already looks, so first of all, it's not moving. And this one, obviously, if I pour it, it's going to spill all over. They did say I could try and stir it with a little stick or a spoon, which they didn't provide. For $40? They couldn't even provide a little stirry spoon. Just something to stir please no i'll just use a toothpick because they don't deserve my spoons oh there's a splinter oh no oh no this has no consistency oh this is bad i'm gonna keep stirring in hopes that something happens oh oh of course here's a clump their minimum was to shake it for 30 seconds or longer. So I did shake it for a whole minute. Pretty vigorously, if I might add. So I'm gonna try to keep stirring it and then coming back to it in five more minutes. Because obviously, their container is not made good enough for their own powder. These clumps are not breaking up, so I'm going to resort to using the spoon that we got from the Japanese kit. It's like someone saying they are independent and yet we have to use help from something else. So I've been at this for the last 10 minutes, but their instructions say that these lumps apparently happen and will just dissolve over time. That is the lumpiest slime I've seen. At least that's not supposed to be lumpy. All right, so let's go ahead and reach in. Oh, that's gross. Oh, that's gross. Oh. Oh no. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. So this is our $40 slime. Look at how gross this is if you think this is too close let's zoom out a bit more so you can see this is not holding its shape and i didn't do anything differently than what the instructions said holy moly holy carp holy salt this is gross look at that this is just not no no oh gross oh gross let's just put it back in here gross <laughs> does smell nice though but ew that is the nastiest thing ever. Ugh. For those of you who want to say, But Jackie, you're doing it wrong. Maybe it's the type of water. If you want, I will entertain you and this time use actually bottled water. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same process with a different baggie, shake it again for way more than 30 seconds, wait five more minutes, and see the kind of atrocity that we get. Five minutes later. Here we are five minutes later, and let's see, this seems to be a lot better with bottled water. Interestingly enough, and yet, it's still pretty sticky. It does smell good. But this is the slime you're getting. Let's look at the box again. The picture on the box itself shows this much slime. That is an absolute lie. So if we're going to do the math, this box cost me $40. We can make six slimes, which means that this slime over here costs about $6.66. Whereas right here we have the Japanese one, which is pretty much the same amount that we were supposed to get on the box for the other one. And at $30, this slime cost me $6. Just to be clear, here's the Japanese one at $6. Here's the North American one at $6.66. I think the size difference speaks volumes. 
And so my opinion is, here's the Japanese kit, here's the North American kit. Front. The Japanese kit is the obvious winner. And just a small quick side note, do I think paying $30 for a slime kit is worth it? Unless you really can't find the ingredients elsewhere? No. No, 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 no. However, if you are looking for a gift, the Japanese one is definitely by far up here. And the good news is, is that Amazon Japan is actually open to international shipping. So I will leave a link down below, not sponsored, not affiliated. So if you're interested, check it out. And let me know, do you think this is worth it in any way whatsoever? I'm curious. Why? If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a video YouTube thinks is just right for you, make sure you check down here. This week's shoutouts go to Shimo Kohai, Asit Komen, Lost Commander Draws, Emma Clements, Ralphie Rudolph, Ember the Night Fury, and Janice Reeves. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.